Hello again, Jerry, Jerry's Old Guy Review. Once again, I'm going to start with a thank you to all my new subscribers and to all of you who watch my channel. Now, I'm a 114 scale nerd. This has been on my bucket list for a long time. I have tried and failed numerous times to make a heavy rescue tow truck. It's never been quite right. The boom isn't quite right. Just, it's been a nightmare for me. I have actually taken pictures of full-size recovery vehicles, rotator trucks, to try to recreate it and just never accomplished it. So this is Tamiya's Volvo FH16 Globetrotter. It's their first eight-wheeled semi-truck. Now, I have been just searching the internet and searching the internet. Want to know when it's coming out, want to know when it's coming out. No dates, but they do have a price. Tamiya's price is $1,516. But I was perusing some of the local hobby shops, or I should say the internet hobby shops, and it looks like about $1,061 is going to be what they're selling it for. Now, you'll see the fancy front wheel hooks on the boom, which lower down so you can back up or drive a truck on and lift them up with the boom. You have to buy a separate kit for that, which to my list, their price at 365, but I found it online. Whenever it shows up, they're going to be selling them for about 275. So if you have servos, and you really want to go buck wild on this. The next thing, of course, is the multifunction switch or the multifunction control unit, which went to sleep. Um, if you're not familiar, well, nobody on this channel should not be familiar with it. It's for your lights and sounds. Has a little rotator motor that shakes the truck like it's running. Those kits generally go, I've seen them, 463 So if you don't want to convert a radio, because a lot of times you have to convert a radio to work right with these older Tamiya trucks and the sound unit. So if you want to get the Tamiya radio, you'll spend about another $231, which brings you up to a grand total of $2,031 if you want to really pimp this truck out. I haven't full-blown pimped out a truck, any of my rigs, because I run them in water and I run them outside um, in adverse conditions. So the sound unit, never really specified, but it's so old, I'm pretty sure it's not waterproof. So I've never taken a chance with it. But now, this truck, you're going to have the functioning boom the functioning lift, if you buy the actuator kit, let's see, oh, we can switch her around to the back view. There's your booms. It looks like they have dual winches on it. Your boom has the dual lines running out like a real one would be, so you don't necessarily have to use the car picker up or whatever they call that fancy term for that. You could use it, say, if you could put hooks on it, you could use it like a rotator truck. Um, it's got stabilizers that come down. I saw uh, another website of Tamiya's that shows all the special little doodads. All these doors open, so you'll have plenty of room to store you know, your multifunction switch, any electronics probably, anything you want to put in those. And of course, lots of lights, flashing lights. You can do whatever needs doing on that guy 
What else do we have? Oh, we're just showing some, uh, showing some of the grill work, some of the detailing, which more lights. You got your dual steering. Now they're using the, the old Tamiya semi tires on the front, but I'm hoping this one has a picture of the back tires. There's your chassis. Got your cab pieces. Totally different from a lot of the Tamiya trucks out right now. Looks like you got a lot of nice steel bracing. There's the tires, but I'm, it's not a very good picture of it. Supposedly now, this boom is supposed to have three sections in it, so it should be able to extend out pretty far. Once again, just going on what Tamaya has released. The light bar looks pretty nice. There's your dual winches. Oh, there they're running again. Oh, and there's your stabilizers to put down to lift up your heavy load. Yep. It definitely looks like this boom works separately of the tow cables. I hope that's just like a hook on that you can use there. There's a nice, nice shot of all the access ports. Tamaya has an excellent running video of it. Actually towing another truck. You know, just some more detailing. You can find these. You can go watch Tamaya's video. I'm just, this to me, typical Tamaya. They haven't changed any of the, there they are. So these are the back tires. A lot more aggressive tread. If these are as nice as they look, I think I'm going to be swapping out a lot of my tires. My RC four-wheel drive semi-tires that are a little bit soft. And there you go, the short version. If you go online, you can find the short version from Tamaya of the truck running. Well, I just wanted to make a quick video because this is getting closer and closer to when I can obtain this truck, and I can't wait. I plan to go buck wild, I guess you could say, with this one. I'm probably going to get everything for it. And it's, of course, not going to be yellow. It's going to be some crazy color that my mind came up with that needs to be on a wrecker. But I will definitely be ordering up some Fast 80 bearings for this. I don't do bearings in my a lot of my trucks because they don't get used constantly. But this truck, I plan to see how hard I can work it. So anything I have that I work hard is generally has fast Eddie bearings in it. And he makes, he makes kits for, I mean, for 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. And this truck is going to, it should, I'm hoping should be very similar to the, I'll just need extra bearings. So I should be able to use any of their current Tamiya semi trucks once I get this and actually count up the bearings. So that's about it. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this is uh, worth the investment or what you might think about it. I try to answer every comment personally. I appreciate every one of you who write comments on any of my videos. So keep it up. And if you're new, like and subscribe. This is mostly 114 stuff, but I have everything. So if I get a wild hair that day, I'm going to make a video on a crawler or I'm going to make one on a car or a trail truck. It doesn't matter. But you can be safe to say you'll never have to worry about seeing an airplane or a drone. I'm not good with things that fly. So, once again, Jerry, Old Guys Review.
Thanks.